All right, so now we're going to add the login logout functionality. We are able to add users through registration. Uh, now we just want to be able to validate and log in. All right, so our login form is actually it's in the sidebar and it's actually in the footer include. Okay, so if we open that up, you can see we have our login form here. Um, it's basically uh, a bootstrap form and we don't have a method or an action which will we now have to add because right now the form goes nowhere okay so we want to define first we want to define the method okay we could do post or get uh, we're going to do post and then the action is going to be the file that we want it sent to which is going to be login.php okay so that should be enough uh, the submit button has the name do login so remember that because we're gonna have to check to make sure that that was clicked alright so make sure you save that footer file and you can do um, sorry close that and then we're gonna go to our root and open up login.php alright so this is not gonna be a display file people are not gonna go to this login page uh, basically it's just going to handle our login we're gonna um, send our form to it and then it will validate against the database through the user class and then redirect us alright so um, first thing we need to include our initializer uh, we want to say PHP include core slash init dot php actually this should be in quotes alright and then the next thing I want to do is I want to check to see if that do login um, submit button was clicked so we want to say if is set post do login okay so basically we're saying if someone clicked the do, the submit button uh, if they didn't okay so if someone just navigates to login.php without without um, actually submitting the login form then we want to just redirect them we don't want them to be able to land on that page so it's going to redirect to the home page all right so if it's clicked what do we need to do we need to first get the um, username and password so we'll just say get vars and username is going to be equal to post okay post username all right and then password is going to be equal to MD5 okay this is very important because remember we stored our passwords in the database encrypted with MD5 so if we don't do this here then it's gonna match the non encrypted password against the the encrypted password so you want to make sure that you have this here okay that's gonna be password alright now we need to create a new user object Okay, so user equals new user and then we'll say hey guys, whoops, sorry right, about so that what do now is we have okay and then we're gonna say if user login okay and we're gonna pass in into the login function we're gonna pass in username and password okay so if we do log in then what do we want to do we want to redirect okay we'll redirect to index.php and we will set a message we'll say you have been logged in 
and the message type is going to be success. And remember, this redirect function we actually created in the system helper. Okay, so that's right here. All right, so and then we're going to say else. Okay, because if the login does fail, then we are st we're still going to redirect. Um, except we're going to change the message. We'll say that login is not valid, and we're going to set set the type to error. All right, so that's basically it. That should do our login for us. So let's go ahead and go, let's reload, and let's just put anything in. Uh, undefined method user log, oh, we didn't even create the, <laughs> sorry about that, we didn't create the, the class method login. Uh, so let's go to the user class and go down all the way or wherever you want to go. And I'm going to paste in some code here. Okay, so this is going to be the login method. Um, we pass in the username and password. We're creating a query, select all from users, where username is equal to username, password, password. And then we're going to bind the values down here to, um, to, to push in what we entered up here. All right, then we're going to uh, assign the row using the single method from our database class because we're only looking for one response, one record. And then it's going to say if the row count is greater than zero, which means a row came back, then what we're going to do is return true. But we also want to run this um, set user data method. And what that's going to do is it's going to set some cookie, I'm sorry, some sessions for us, session variables to hold uh, for one, a Boolean expression for is logged in because we want to know if the user is logged in or not. Uh, we're also going to store the user ID, the user name, and the user's name. All right, so let me just um, paste that in here. All right, so basically we're calling set user data, which is this function, and we're going to set the session variables. Uh, is logged in is going to be set to true uh, and we can we can test to see if the user is logged in or not through this variable and then we have the user ID the username and the name and we can use these anywhere in our script at any time all right so I'm going to use it uh, in the login form when we're logged in I want the form not to show uh, and I just want to have a logout button. So let's go back to the footer where the form is actually located. Okay, templates includes footer. All right, and this is where the login form is. So, and instead of saying if session and then using the session variable, I want to create a, a cleaner helper function. So I'm going to go into helpers, system helper. All right, and we're going to create a small function called is logged in. Okay, so we want to go all the way to the bottom. All right, so this function is just going to check if the session variable is logged in is set. If it is, it'll return true. If not, it'll be false. All right, so let's save that. Go back to footer, and now we can say PHP if. say um, is logged in um, yeah if is logged in then um, let's see we don't want the form to show if we're logged in so what's down here we'll say PHP else and then we'll show the form, okay, and then we'll end it. All right, and then if we are logged in, um, basically I just want, 
a log. I want a form, but I just want the log out button. So let me paste this in. All right, so it's a div. We have a div uh, with the class of user data, and we're just going to say welcome and then the user's name. Uh, so this get user function uh, we're going to define in our in our system helper as well. So let's go back to system helper, and then under the is logged in function we want to paste this. In. Okay, so it's just going to basically create a user array and basically just get the session variables and store them in the user array variable. All right, and then we can return the user array. So it's just a, it's just a cleaner way of doing things. Of course, you could just um, include these session variables right in your sidebar or wherever, wherever, but I think these functions make it a little cleaner. All right, so it's just gonna get the user, get the user's username. All right, and then this form here is going to go to logout.php, which we'll create now, uh, which is just a submit button with the name of do logout. All right, so if we save that, and let's go ahead and log in. Um, let's see, who do I have here? Let's see, uh, Brad T. Um, call to undefined method user login. Oh, uh, actually, user login. Did I not save it? I didn't save the user class again. Okay, so you just want to make sure that that's saved. And then we can do it again. That login is not valid. Uh, maybe I didn't use that. All right, that was the right. So now we're logged in. You can see it says, Welcome Brad T. Uh, it says you have been logged in, and we also have a logout button. So if we click that, it's not gonna happen yet because we didn't, we didn't create the logout page yet. Okay, so let's do that now. Uh, so we wanna go to our root and go to logout. And this is very simple, so I'm just gonna paste this in. All right, so basically we're including our initializer and then we're checking to see if the logout button was pushed. Uh, if it was, then it's going to create a new user object, and we're going to say if user logout, then we're just going to redirect with a success. Um, so let's go to let's save this first, and then go to the user class and paste in the logout code. Okay, so basically all we're doing is unsetting all of our session variables that we created when we log in. All right, and then we're just gonna return true. So if we save that and reload, and let's go ahead and try to log out. Now we're logged out, you can see the form now displays again. So it's working pretty smoothly. All right, so the last thing I wanna do now is this total number of users because uh, right now it's just a static number. So I'm just going to create that method in the user class. All right, so this is very simple. Uh, basically, we're just getting a query, select all from users. Then we're defined, we're putting the result set into a rows variable. And then we're just returning the row count. All right, and then we can save that. And now let's go to our index page and just like we did here we're going to say templates total users is going to equal user actually we need to uh, instantiate a user object Right. and let's see template total users is equal to user get what did we call it um, let's see where is a user get total users all right so let's see back to the index and this is going to be get 
total users. Okay, so now we should be able to use this total users variable inside of our template. So let's save this and open up the front page template. All right, and let's see, we need to look for total users. All right, so we want to replace this 52 with PHP echo uh, total users. Okay, now that should make that dynamic. So let's save that, reload, and you, now you can see we have four total users. All right, so we are definitely getting there. Basically, the two things we have left, the two major things, are to create a topic. All right, we want to um, log in and create a topic, and also to reply to a topic. All right, and we we only want to be able to do those things if we're logged in. All right, so we'll do that next.